Hey, this is my Triumph XRX. Just want to give you a quick uh, opinion opinions on it after only 200 miles. I only put 200 miles on this thing so far, and um, so I'll have to do another video once I really work it out. But um, I really like it, and. Let's have a look. See, I put this just put this aftermarket windshield on. I have a, at the tail end. I'll show you a, com a comparison between that and the old. And I like it. Um, I'm five eight, in, and um, I have to look through it. I can't. No matter how low I put it, I can't look over it. But I don't mind. It does warp my vision a little bit, but it's okay. So, so far so good. Here, I, this is a magnet um, made, made by Built. And I like this. I sometimes I put my cell phone in there if I'm looking for directions or just stuff in here. This is pretty comes in handy. Um, this little tab ripped off. The little tab that covers the key for the um, gas thing. So I don't know what happened there. Maybe that'll be covered under warranty, huh? So my impressions of the bike are great. I have no complaints. I'm a, I'm a pretty critical guy when it comes to vehicles and stuff electronics and stuff i mean that's what we do now we, we you know because of companies like honda apple um harley davidson they've really upped the game for products and with fit and finish and how well you, you know they customizing everything and um and user experience and it's hard to everyone just gets you know complains so much about stuff and or they celebrate things which actually is good it really ups the game and i mean that's what it's all about right to just do some critical thinking and some critiquing uh, but i haven't really found anything that i don't like about this i i'm a little bit small for the bike i'm 5 8 like i said uh inseam of 32. i touch on my tippy toes when i get it serviced i'm gonna have it lowered I could have gotten the lower one, but they didn't, the dealership that offered it didn't offer me a good deal on my trade-in, and the other place did, so I'm like, you know what, I had a better feel for this one dealership, and I went with a taller bike, but I will get it lowered about an inch, I think, and that's the only thing I don't like about it, even backing out of my driveway, there's points where I was way up on my tippy toes, so the... It's great, man. Zippy, really fast. By the way, it's really windy here in, in El Paso. Um, really quick bike. I mean, plenty of power. I don't think a power is ever going to be an issue for you. The triple motor is great. I test rode the a GS, similar year. Um, and I remember saying to myself, I like the feel of the GS a little bit more, but I said to the salesman i wish that the triple was in the tri this motor was in that gs and then i'd have the perfect bike but i like this one got the knot this bike got the knot i like it a little better and there you go why i like these adventure bikes i went in to actually get a kawasaki concourse they had and i love kawasaki's and i love that concourse maybe like a 2000 15 they had there but i got on and i'm like you know this thing's kind of bulky i mean these are so practical you know they're not the sexiest bikes in the world because my other bike is a big fat harley and that has a little bit more i guess sex appeal to it you might say but this is my commuter and i would commute with this thing every day in california and you can lane split and boy, you just get on this thing. It had all, all these nice bells and whistles. You just get on it, plenty of bag space, drop your stuff in the bag, your lunch, your gear. Um, and you just can really keep up and really feel like you are keeping up with the pack or you can zip away from the pack if you need to. And it's just so much power, it's comfort. The riding position, I never liked these bikes when I was first starting out. You know, I'm like, oh, who would ride a big GS like that, right? 
And I'm like, those are just ugly. Those are, you know, I was in Seattle and every, everyone, everyone had one of those in Seattle and they were commuting on those things. I'm like, oh, those are just goofy looking. And then after a while, I ended up getting a V-Strom and I'm like, whoa, this thing's so practical and so comfortable with the seating arrangement. Wide handlebars, you get a great grip, you get a lot of handle, especially at low speeds. And it was just so, it was kind of fun to ride and it just was so practical and made so much sense. Now I really like them. And um, I had a passenger on the back of my V-Strom, which is the same size as this. It was a 1000. And that's a great passenger bike. Um, may, maybe the comfort's not there as far as the seat, the rear seat pillion, but um, but their positioning, they're, they got a great leg position. I had a backpack on the, a pet touring pack on the back. They can lean into that, hang on. And they're really high up. They're looking over your head. And they had a really good command of, of things and you can and for a driver you could you had a lot of control over that passenger if they rock around with their weight and they scoot around maybe they're adjusting you ever had a passenger try to adjust themselves with in, in the back and they you feel like you're you're like whoa well you have a lot of slow speed maneuverability with these wide handlebars so i really felt really under control um, when I had a passenger on the back. Uh, these bags are easy to take off and on, but I'll never take them off and on. Let's pop them open and see. Boom, you just pop right in. I mean, it's all about the bags, man. Just throw your lunch in there and all your gear. I'm a cardiac nurse, so this is great. I just jump on this baby in the middle of the night if I get called in. And, uh, or on the way to work, and I just wee, 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 cruise over this mountain here. Not, not over the very top of it, but there's a cut through up there, and I just cruise right up. Isn't that nice? Great car. <laughs> I just cruise right over that mountain there. So, um, and it, this thing's great. And it really winds up that hill and coming down, it's under control. Um, I, I wish I had more experience on the bike. I'll never take it off road. I'll never, I'm just going to commute with it and maybe, maybe do a touring session with it, with, with people who have similar bikes. If they, if I knew anyone, I don't. And then I'll really get to tell you about all the bells and whistles, which I'll never really use. I just like it because it has analog brakes. The riding position has a big motor, nice screen, I, and I like these because I don't like the the V-Strom. This was naked here, and that was a that bothered me. I don't like the wind at all, and some people like a little wind. I don't like any of it, so this is good enough. Um, I was going to complain about the heat right here in the crotch. I don't know why it's not bugging me anymore. It's maybe they maybe I just got fried out down there and I can't feel anything anymore, but. It really doesn't get that hot down there anymore. Um, after the first hundred miles, it just was okay. You want a hot bike in the crotch? Yes, this is hotter than most. How about a Ducati ST3? There you go. That'll get you hot going down there. Um, and so I, I don't. It, it is a, it's warm down there, but it's doable. So great bike. Um, the other, what I, I, I had a, um, an ST3 actually, Ducati, and, and, a, and I had an older one and a BMW K1200 GT, older one. Loved them. Well, I really liked the BMW, but I wanted this, this kind of more adventure style. I just think it's more comfortable to ride every day. And it really is, it was great for California because I could split you could stand on this very easily. You could just, you know, I mean, you stand up and you put your thighs into the tank. Well, this is great for that. Very easy to do that. You could stand forever. I mean, I, 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 I there'd be times when I'm splitting, I would just stand up and split. And the thing about splitting in California is, which is the only state in America you can do that, is people move out of your way. You know, you split on the between the passing lane and the and the center lane, and um, 
people actually get kind of scoot out of your way about 20% of the time. I don't, they don't need to do that. I got plenty of room, even with these bags. Um, but they kind of scoot. And, and you get these stories of people getting cut off, and I've only gotten cut off once. Everyone's been really cool. <clears throat> and um, the guy that cut me off, he was in the middle of doing like a video conference in his car, in his minivan, and he drifted over into my lane. And that was the only time I got cut off in a lane split. The thing I'm worried about with lane splitting is other bikes that are behind you going too fast. So if, I, if, if everyone's going five miles per hour in traffic, you jump in that splitting lane. And this baby's great, man. Wah, just takes off. And I'm usually going 25 now, 30 maybe max in that lane comfortably. Um, you're kind of covering the clutch. You're waiting to waiting for that person to, that car to jump over and cut you off. But you got to be, it's kind of a nerve wracking experience if you do it for too long. But every day I do it. And the only problem was getting over into the lane because sometimes people are cruising at maybe 40 in that split lane, the other bikes, and that's kind of dangerous. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, I skipped, I jumped around here. I should have wrote things down. The, um, my other bikes that I traded in for this were a Ducati ST3, which I like, but to commute every day on, on that, and my commute was like 50 minutes, uh, like an hour each way. After a while, I was like, no, I don't want to, I don't feel like getting on the bike today. That's when you know when you like a bike, when you get commuting on a motorcycle every day and you get up in the morning at like six and you got to get on a bike and it's not optimal con conditions and you got to get on that road with the bike. I have a car, but I just use the bike because it's, especially in California because of traffic and there's days you didn't want to be on it and you just especially the st3 was like a little bit really sporty and, and great motorcycle but to go every day on it no thanks and the bmw i just uh, i love that the gt i love that k motor oh yeah that's another thing i don't i'm not a big fan of the r motor that's the only reason i didn't like the gs i never liked the r motor really um, I do have a car with a boxer motor in it. I, and I love it, but not on that motorcycle. So, but anyways, the BMW, I love the, I'm one of those K guys who likes the K bikes and, um, K 1200 and, and love that damn bike. But, um, I just wanted to, you know, trade them both in and get a deal on this guy. There you go. Cool. Hey, should I start it up and stop yakking away? This bike is nice and dirty. So, um, you, I, it hasn't been cleaned, but I never clean my bikes. I should do that, huh? Is it going here? Now it has, it's been in storage for a while. So it has a couple of air, like errors on it, like the keyless battery low, which um, you can't see. But, um, and I just charged it up, but it still says that anyhow. So we'll see what we got here. Hang on. Oh. Let's hear that motor, which is a great motor. Sorry for that. Anyways. Great looking bike, perfect motor. Comfortable and quick. Power, all that jazz. It's getting close, huh? I like that the muffler's not too loud. I love to listen to the motor and not the exhaust. I don't think you can see the dashboard, so I'm not going to show it. We're in the sun. Superb bike. No complaints other than the height. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, thanks for chatting. If you stay tuned, I'll do a comparison of the uh, windshield at the end here. Take care. Hey, let's look at the difference between this stock windshield, which I actually like,
And then here comes a, a Capula aftermarket windshield made in Spain. Look at this. Okay. So right about here, you can see the difference. A lot more up on the top. Losing a little bit down to the lower left and the lower corners. Oops. How about that? So a little bit lost on the flappy sides there. I bet you that's going to be okay. Whoop. Let's get it accurate. How about that? And uh, there you go. Thank you.